So this extreme cold we're dealing with is not only bad for us, but also for our pets. Frostbite, just one of the problems that can occur after being outside for even just a few minutes. So we're joined by veterinarian Dr. Rebecca Edwards with some tips to keep our pets safe from West Loop Vet. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you for having me. This is so important right now because we all love our pets. They're our children. And, um, you know, that's the big question. We've been hearing so much about what's coming on Wednesday. Yeah. Overall, how dangerous can this be for our pets? So just like humans, uh, our pets are at risk for these low temperatures. We really, we worry about hypothermia, frostbite, or even death in prolonged situations. So it's very important that we protect our pets. Okay, so one of the things I had heard is if you have a cat, they should absolutely be inside. Correct, right? absolutely. Okay, and if you have a dog, where do you begin? You have brought some things that really can make yeah. a difference, because sometimes I think, oh, they're so cute in those little coats, but they, they make a important. difference. Absolutely, yeah. so I would say the most important thing is going to be limiting their exposure, making sure that they're not outside longer than they need to be for our dogs doing their quick potty walks and mm -hmm. getting them back inside. Yep. Uh, keeping in mind that the age of the animal, the breed, and the hair coat are all important factors. Okay. So some of our dogs that have really short hair coats are going to benefit from these type of protective gear. Our uh -huh. sweaters are nice because they've got the underside, mm -hmm. which is going to protect more so their tummy. Okay. Um, our, but if it's wet, so if it's snowing or if it's like that rainy snow, uh, this gets wet and makes them colder. Okay. So we want something that's going to be a little bit more protective, something like this that might get the water to run off of that. So this repels the water. Exactly, yeah. yep. And then the other thing we think about mm -hmm. is when it's that cold, the sidewalk is cold, there's mm -hmm. ice, there's salt, so our booties are really helpful okay. uh, in protecting those paws and keeping them from okay. getting. I have to ask you, my dog is nine <laughs> years old now, and finally this weekend I told him whether you like it or not, we are wearing, wearing these booties. booties, but a lot of dogs just don't like them. He was walking around like we he was marching but then yep. he got used to it exactly so you just try it try it out mm -hmm. and you know the best way to introduce booties is gradually using things like treats or if they're motivated by a specific toy mm -hmm. put the booties on give them a chance to get used to them and then take them off reward them for that increase the amount of time that the boots are on so that they okay. get used to it make it positive that's a good idea another question for you so I have uh, the pair I, I finally got them are made of rubber mm -hmm. uh, do you have a preference over those or something like these I will say after we came in after one wear I noticed it was already torn. Oh, yeah. So do you, yep. is there a preference? What's better for their little paws? So I would say booties like these are mm -hmm. going to be more protective in that they have the insulation. Mm -hmm. They're protecting from the uneven ground, the salt from getting in between the toes, mm -hmm. uh, and they're keeping that irritation off their paws. Okay. So you that's, yep, so that's the, the benefit there. In, and they just go like that. Buckle it up, exactly. Right? And then they walk around, Walk hopefully. along, <laughs> try not to flick them off. <laughs> exactly. Um, there are other products that may have a little bit less protection. I like these because they have the insulation from the cold. Okay, but let's be realistic. What if your dog says there is no way I'm putting them on. I have mm -hmm. heard you can put petroleum jelly. Does that make a difference? So there is a type of wax that you can put on the bottom okay. of the paws that's helpful in that it's better than nothing. Right. But what you're not getting is you're still going to have salt in between. You're still going to have the snow and mm -hmm. ice in between. And they're still walking on ice that True. is like walking on Legos for okay. them. It's painful. Okay. So if you have a dog like mine who loves this weather and wants to stay out, you just make sure they do their business and just get, get them, them in, inside. Right? Get them inside. Yep. And if you can't put booties on them mm -hmm. because not every dog is going to tolerate right. that rinsing their feet, wiping them down when they come inside, checking to make sure they don't have any wounds or anything okay. like that, uh, and that's the best way to keep them safe. Okay, and then finally, here's some of the stuff that we have to deal with, right? Yep, so pet friendly, we think about antifreeze, you know, mm -hmm. antifreeze is toxic to dogs and cats if ingested. Okay. Uh, it's, you can get a pet friendly version, also just making sure you keep it out of reach for mm -hmm. any of your pets. Uh, De-icing salt, making sure that it's a pet friendly uh, brand can help and just keep them that bit much yes. safer. I'm glad you're bringing this up because I hadn't really thought about this because this, these are things that we might just have sitting in our garage on the exactly, ground. Exactly, exactly. And these can be deadly. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the ice, if they're ingesting it, can cause irritation to their mouth, cause mm -hmm. upset stomach. The antifreeze is lethal. It will essentially kill yeah. them if they're not treated. So it's very important to keep that away from our pets. Okay, and where can people learn more about West Loop Vet and maybe get some tips from you guys? Yeah, visit us on our website, westloopvet.com, and uh, come visit us on Halstead and Randolph. Very nice. Thanks for coming in. Thank I'm so glad. So this is very us. important information.